automobile accidents? But people don't think of that. But, but it's the same type of heedlessness. That's what people are in. They're in a state of ghafla, and that is what the Quran is warning about. Don't be in that state. Don't be in that state. Don't be worse than animals, because animals aren't in that state. Animals are thinking about danger, danger. They're aware of their enemies. We're not aware of our enemies. Nafs, shaitan, hawa, and dunya. Those are the enemies of man. Nafs, shaitan, hawa, and dunya. Just like every animal out there has natural enemies that it's worried about constantly. It's vigilant about. Why? Because it doesn't want to lose its life. And humans should be conscious of losing their eternal life. That's, that's, that's what we're here for. We're here to prepare. If you look, Imam Raghab al-Isbahani says that Allah has given us three powers, quwa, that he put in the human being. The first quwa is called uh, shahawiyya, which is a, a, a power that we share with animals. It's called appetitive. And it's part of our animal nature because the human is haywan. But he's haywan not to collect the Arabs say, a, an articulate or a rational animal. But that power, the ability to, to uh, this power of appetite is a, is a healthy thing when it's kept in check. And that's the, the, the mashrab, the ma'kal, and the mankah. Eating, drinking, and procreation. That, 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 that's the shahwa that human beings have been given. And then you have the quwa al ghadabiya which is called the irascible power or faculty that, that God has put into man. And this relates to the emotions. It's why people get angry. And that's put in there for a reason because you should get angry about things that should elicit proper anger. But you should get angry for the right reasons in the right degree at the right time and towards the right object. You didn't just get angry. There's people now walking around, they're just filled with rage. They're filled with anger. They'll get angry at the slightest thing because that's their state. That's the hal that they're in because the, the irascible self has overwhelmed them. Just like there's people now just looking for, there's people, 40 million downloads of porn, pornography in this country every day, 40 million. The highest pornographic downloading going on per capita are in Muslim countries. You can look at the Google, uh, you can look at the Google research on it. And I'm reading a book on this subject where I can't even believe it, what's going on out there. Because people are complete slaves of their selves. They're com and that's total heedlessness. You couldn't do something like that unless you were in a complete state of heedlessness. That's what it is. It's total heedlessness. And now, shaitan has vehicles, has, has their, their, their machines and technology that can completely destroy a human being. Completely. You'll, you'll put out your inner eye, blind it. It's like, it's like taking a, you know, the, uh, the, the scholars of this science say that the inner eye is more sensitive than the outer eye, the spiritual eye is more sensitive than the outer eye. Just like when you get a little speck of sand in your eye, you can't see, you just want to clear your eyes. Anything that you're looking at that is haram, that's what it's doing to your inner eye, but worse. It's like stabbing it. It's like stabbing it. And that's what people are doing. That's what there is. It's all heedlessness. That's why Imam al-Junaid said that the real root cause of all sin, crime, evil in the world is ghafla. That's what he said. That is the root crime. Human beings are sleepwalkers in, this, in somnambulant states, not aware that, that the time is coming. We're going to have to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ The reckoning is drawing near, and people are in heedlessness. They're not thinking about it. The Prophet ﷺ was thinking about it constantly. حَاسِبُ قَبْلًا تُحَاسِبُ Take yourself to account before you're taken to account. Consider yourselves already in the grave. That's a hadith in Sahih Muslim. Consider yourselves already in the grave. Be prepared to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's real. It's real. I mean, those are hadiths. Fire is real. Paradise is real. The day of judgment is real. The hold is It's all real. This is the illusion. People think they're going to be here forever. 
There were people a hundred years uh, ago listening to the same ayahs, hearing the same. They're all gone. They're dead. All of them. They're all gone. And here we are, and we're going to be gone, and these young people, they'll be sitting here with the same problems, the same stupidities, the same miserliness, greed, envy, backbiting, namima, all the same diseases. And that's why in, in the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ, when he said, Safiru taghnamu, set out on the journey and reap the rewards. Raghab Risbahani said, don't take this as some kind of outward journey. The Prophet, when he tells you a commandment, because outwardly, merchants, when they go out on a journey, they, they benefit. Like the Arabs say, travel, there's five benefits in traveling. You, you get benefit from travel. But this is a spiritual traveling. Set out on a journey to God, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says that journey, and finally, I want, before I get to that, the, the third quwa is the quwa an natiqa it's the rational soul, the power, the faculty that human beings have that separates them from all other species on this planet, with the exception of the jinn. That faculty is the ability to reason. It's the ability to think. And if that, that faculty is meant to, to, to be in control of the other two faculties. But what's happened is, qalb al haqaiq it's switched over. The horse is riding the man. The donkey is riding you. That's what's happening. It's switched. It's completely uh, backward. Y you can tell people that it takes, y your basal metabolic rate is like 1,600. It'll burn 1,600 calories uh, a day. right? So you just need that just to survive. I mean, you'll, you'll burn fat or something like that. Uh, for a certain amount of time and then the body starts eating itself then you die that's what you need and then based on your movement you need something on top of that 500 a thousand depending on what people do laborers need more people that use their intellect need more because there's glucose you have to have uh, caloric intake for thinking so but there's people out there eating 4,000 calories a day every time they get on the scale they see it going up they get diabetes. And then they pray, you know, for a shifa. Allahumma shfini. People eat uh, all that ghee and dalda and, and this, that, and the other. And, and, and then they get, have a triple bypass. Alhamdulillah. No, seriously. If, you, if, you're, if you're sick, people get sick, you know, genes. There's a lot of reasons people get sick. But most people make themselves sick. And then they ask God for, God gave you a body. It has legs with muscles. You have a stomach that, that's me meant to digest. It's all meant for, it's all wisdom. But you can understand all of that rationally. Do people exercise? No. The doctor tells them to exercise, they don't exercise. Do people overeat when the ice cream comes? Do they eat it? Yes. Even with diabetes. I've seen people shoot up insulin before they have their dessert. I'm not making that up. Why? Because they can't control themselves. It's as simple as that. People aren't well. But you're human beings. I mean, this, this is Benny Adam. We're, we're not insignificant creatures. We're, we're meant to be, to, to be people of discipline. I mean, that's why Allah has given us this religion, five prayers a day in specific times. The Prophet ﷺ once saw a man who had a a heavy stomach, and he said that would be better if it was on somebody else. 30,000 children died yesterday of starvation. And, and, all, and probably more or as many died from overeating. <coughs> because it's imbalanced. People don't think about other people. They just think about themselves. That's ghafla. It's ghafla. It's all greed. It's all ego. It's all me, me, me. That's what's going on out on that freeway out there. Nobody's thinking of the other people. When I grew up, People had courtesy on the road. I remember that clearly. I'm, I'm not making this up. People had courtesy on the road. People would actually stop and let you get in. Now they speed up and, and then flip you off. Seriously, that, because this is a, a complete me culture. That's what's happening. It's the whole planet. We got six billion people. Me, me, me. 
Six billion people. It makes a wonderful world, doesn't it? That's, that's what Islam is about. They prefer others to themselves. Even if they have needs, they actually prefer others to themselves. Like the two uh, of the Ansar who had a guest and they turned out the lights because they didn't have enough food for themselves. They, they put their children to sleep and then they fed the guest. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah was pleased with, with what you did last night. Because Allah is aware. Those are real people. 